Looking at the last thing that we got, um, there should be the dragon comes down. Or not, just appeared out of thin air. All right, so there's a dragon. I would definitely focus on that one first. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's quick put on or drink Illyrium potion. There's actually going to be three uh, elite enemies up there. You got the Alpha. There should be an emissary to its right, the Alpha, the Genlock Alpha is right and left. Um, so, oh shit! Direct me. What the hell are you doing, Logan? How did you get over here? Oh no! no. Hang on, we got sidetracked. There we go. All right, so he'll taunt, take him out, and then. Enough. All right, so I just saw that that emissary put down glyph of paralysis, and then there's another emissary on the other side. Let's. Oh shit, it's not a full down yet. Okay, good. Oh, God. I'm starting to hold my breath there. I'm like, please, 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 please. All right, so we took out the mage on the left and the mage on the right. It looks like... <laughs> Perfect. I don't think that Mana Clash actually dispels any of the stuff on the battlefield. Um... No. I guess it's like, that would be like... I need to dispel... Um... A dispel spell. <laughs> what the hell happened to me? Point me. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah, put on shield. Oh god. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Uh, let's put that on low gain. I wonder if we can. Oh damn! What a high hit. And then of course I missed the, the next two. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, May, uh, Win just went down. Um, I can't save it during the battle. <laughs> ah! Alright, we can do this. Looks like there's another MS. Wait, or it's just a dead body. Oh, they're just lootable. Okay. Um, Saving the day. I gotta take out that alpha. Cause this guy's a pain in the ass. Yes. And, oh. Here Dang I it. There's too much. It's uh, man, too much shit's going on. Can I target that guy behind me? Make a little bit of time, but I need to get out at least a a summon. That way, at least if I don't have win as a healer, I'm definitely gonna need. <laughs> oh wait, what? what the... Oh, she got interrupted. No, Leliana. Oh no. No, I wanted somebody, like I was saying, um, right I, I want the summon to be there so that way I can do lifesteal. Like a blood sacrifice. Good to go. Well, at least we, we also have defensive fire on, which is good, it's helping us. Maintain at least a higher defensive rating. So, it, but the only problem is though, when the defense is passed, her armor rating is not very high. So she is like a, you're going to cut through her like a wet napkin. What the, man. Where do I go? Consider it done. Liliana, can you now please summon the wolf? <laughs> please. I'm gonna need a heal soon. Going. After I pull off these moves. Oh shit, there's another emissary up there. I just saw him too. Uh, yeah, let's put down Glyph and neutralization. Huh. Boom, and I got him. I just saw him flash. 
I just saw him flash. All right, so we did pretty good there. Let's do blood sacrifice on the wolf. Thank you. I need that. No, I can't touch that. Oh. Oh, that was close. I almost just ran into it myself. That would have been terrible. longer this is going to go. I need to regain some of my mana. That way at least my shimmering shield can remain active. Oh, I missed so many times right there. What the hell? I live to fight another day. Sucks that wind went down, but mm -hmm. all right, whatever. Not too bad. All right, so once we are, we're done here in the courtyard, uh, we could have summoned some forces, but I just didn't feel like it. Uh, and then we're going to move forward inside of Fort Draken, but I'm actually going to cut off the commentary. Um, I'm just going to let things play out in addition to, like, you know, <laughs> the final uh, epilogue, you know, with uh, I'll definitely talk to all the companions at the end to make sure that we finish up their stories or make sure that they can at least say their goodbyes. And then uh, we'll wrap up uh, the finale. So, all right, uh, I'm just gonna cut out my mic right now. All right. Take care of it. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> right away. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Consider it done. Trap right ahead. I sense some dark spawn. Saving the day. I am here. In 
immediately. Just like you want it. Enchantment? Adventure's not over yet? Going. I sent some dark spawn. Yes, I'm still here. 
Are you deaf? Shall we? All is well? See them, dark form. Oh, right. Yes, my friend. What's next? I finished. Just like you want it. What now? No. up.
going. Oh, right. Yes? Direct me. Yes. so much.
order? I shall do so. Right away. Be careful! Yeah. And then, it was over. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the Blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its queen. The Grey Warden stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. 
Of those who stood against the Darkspawn siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the charge against the Archdemon and killed it remains with us still, an inspiration to all she saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the hero of Ferelden, the first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Garahel four centuries ago. Grey Warden, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon you might request of Ferelden's queen? As you wish, the crown of Ferelden shall ever be grateful for your deeds. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Howe, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? I am certain they will be relieved to know your intentions. There is a group of eager Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you are ready. I don't think we have much to say to one another. You killed the Archdemon, well done. The Grey Wardens seem to be mighty curious as to just how you managed to pull that off without dying. Oh, somehow I'm not surprised. You're just lucky that way, right? Look, you made me king, and I'm grateful. And Duncan would have been happy the blight is over. I'm actually a bit jealous that you're staying with the Grey Wardens, to be honest. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Until then, you'd best get on with your procession. Your adoring public awaits. So it appears that Riordan was wrong. I find it difficult to believe that he deliberately misled us. Have you another explanation for what happened? I should have known. A witch disappeared not long after the battle and has not been seen since. I assume this was expected. Still, the Orlesian Grey Wardens have been persistent in their questions. I intend to keep any thoughts on the matter to myself. I understand you're returning to the Wardens, as am I. I've been tapped to lead up their recruitment efforts here in Ferelden. Anora's influence, no doubt. I would have preferred she not interfered. So it appears. Allow me to say before I go that you've earned my respect. Odd that I ended up here saying that. But there it is. Return to your celebration. I shall see you with the Wardens. It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the Blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. Well, let's not tell the masses just yet. As far as they're concerned, you saved the day without breaking a sweat. Let them have that. It's too bad that you aren't remaining here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden would have influence, but I understand. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isolde refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me, have you noticed anything strange about the lad? He seems quiet. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination, I am sure. But here I am, rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. 
It is very strange to hear so many speak of a mage in such glowing terms. Deserved, of course, but still not what I am accustomed to. Allow me to offer you my congratulations and my thanks. The tower is now nearly restored to order. It could have been so much worse. It pleases me to see such a young pupil achieve prominence. I look forward to watching what you accomplish next. Now, I should leave you to your celebration. <laughs> Aldred's revolt has left me very quick to tire these days. Retirement will come soon, I think. So here we are. The conquering heroine has won the day, and now she takes her bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. Isn't it? We had danger, we had victory, and many characters. Truly, I could not have won witness to a better play had it been on a stage. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you. And look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly is. I've been asked by the Chantry to return to the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I need to make sure it's protected. Maybe pilgrims can even begin going there again. I expect to leave a month from now with a small army of Templars and priests. It will be a grand adventure of my very own. I'm looking forward to it. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment. Which would be a welcome break, mind you. You see? This is why I like you. Always game for a little fun. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you were planning on returning to the Grey Warden Fold soon. Is that true? And would you consider some company? You tend to get up to interesting things. You meet interesting people and then you kill them. I'm game to tag along if you are. Yes, I suppose that is true, sad as it is. Well then, I suppose I shall be leaving soon. Mm, perhaps Parvolen. The Canari are pleasant folk, I hear. I hope fate decrees we meet again. Bon Niviati, as we say back home. Drink well and be merry. Life is good. The hero of Ferelden. <laughs> my, my. How does it feel? Of that, I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? Until you do something wrong. And then they will enjoy tearing you down just as rapidly. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter, but I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to accept a position here at court. There's not been a mage advising the throne for a very long time. It's true, I may not have very much time. But perhaps there is a great deal of good I can do even so. I will try. I understand you will be leaving. I wish you good fortune on your journeys, wherever they may take you. If we do not see each other again, live well, Warden. And thank you. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. <laughs> the ale appears actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. 
Go figure. After what we went through, <laughs> I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're heading off soon, huh? Leaving the city? I'm thinking I'll stick around myself. <laughs> At least for a bit. I'm getting used to that big sky up there. And I'm thinking I might just look up Felsi again. See where that goes. Yeah, I'd better. I'd better. She throws me out and shacks up with some poetess. <laughs> I don't think my ego could take it. Ah, well. Enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. Been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. It is good to see you again, Kadam. These people, they call you hero. It is a strange word, but I think I understand its meaning. The Arishak on occasion has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vel would be too proud. I would argue, had you not ended a blight, for such an accomplishment there may be allowances. What the human custom has in common with our own is that the declaration of a Kunoran Vale is a cause for much celebration. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. Is that truly what you want? There is much to hold you here, and it is a long journey. Funny. Yes. If you truly wish to come, I have a ship prepared to leave in two days' time. Meet me at the docks after all this celebration is over. It would be good to continue our travels. If I do not see you there, Panahedan Kadam, may you always find the path you seek. Are you ready, my lady? The crowds outside are getting restless. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me. <laughs> 